Hello, I'm Jay Wingro, author of A Common Sense Guide to Data Structures and Algorithms, second edition. If you want to learn how to write fast and efficient code, this book is for you. Every concept is explained in plain English and with lots of diagrams, and by the time you're done, you'll know how to write blazing fast code. This new edition has brand new chapters, revised material, and exercises and solutions for every chapter. Let's dig into one simple algorithm just to whet your appetite. Let's talk about sorting algorithms. Here I have some playing cards that are in random order. If we were to rearrange the cards to put them in order from lowest to highest, as humans, we could just eyeball them and move them around until they're in order. But a computer, on the other hand, doesn't have eyeballs. So how would we tell a computer to sort these cards? We need to give the computer a very literal set of instructions to accomplish this. The term algorithm, discussed heavily in my book, simply means a set of instructions that we give to the computer. So let's shuffle the cards in random order again. And now I'll show you an algorithm called insertion sort. If a computer dutifully follows the insertion sort algorithm, or set of instructions, the cards will end up in sorted order. So let's explain how insertion sort works. The first instruction in insertion sort is for the computer to select the second card from the left, which will indicate by sliding it up. We'll call this card the chosen card. We then look at each card to the left of the chosen card one at a time and compare it to the chosen card. Now, insertion sort takes several rounds. In the first round, the second card to the left is the chosen card. But in subsequent rounds, the next card to the right becomes the chosen card. So in the next round, the chosen card will be the third card from the left. And in the round after that, it will be the fourth card. And in the next round, it will be the fifth card and so on until the final round, which takes place when the rightmost card is the chosen card. So let's go back to the first round where the second card is the chosen card. If the chosen card is less than this other card, then we move this other card to the right. Now at this point, there are no more cards to the left of the chosen card to analyze. So this brings us to the next rule of insertion sort, which is that we now place the chosen card into the gap left behind by the cards that we moved to the right. So in this case, the gap is in the leftmost position. So that's where we move the chosen card. So this brings us to the next round of insertion sort, where we're going to make the next card, in this case, the third card from the left, the chosen card. So we slide up the three to make it the chosen card. We then compare the chosen card to the next card to the left. In this case, that's the 10. Since the three is less than the 10, we move the 10 to the right. We then compare the three to the five. Since the three is also less than the five, we move the five to the right as well. We now have a gap at the very left end of these cards. So we move the chosen card of the three into that gap. We are now up to the next round of insertion sort where we make the four the chosen card. We compare it to the 10. It is less than the 10, so we move the 10 over. We compare the four to the five. Since it's less than the five, we move the five. But now, comparing the chosen card to the three, the chosen card is greater than the three, and this is the next rule of insertion sort, which is when the chosen card is greater than the card we're comparing it to, then the round ends and we simply move the chosen card into the gap. So we're up to the next round. We make the six the chosen card. It's less than the 10, so we move over the 10. The six is greater than the five, so we move the six into the gap ending that round. In the next round, we make the eight the chosen card. We compare it to the 10, it's less than the 10, so we move the 10 over. We then compare the eight to the six, and since it's greater than the six, the round is over and we move the eight into the gap. And that is the insertion sort algorithm. The computer doesn't even have to know that its goal is to sort cards. The whole idea of the algorithm is that when the computer follows these literal set of instructions, by the time it's done, our goal will have been accomplished. To learn about this algorithm and many others and how these algorithms and data structures will affect the speed and efficiency of the code you write every day, I invite you to check out A Common Sense Guide to Data Structures and Algorithms, 2nd Edition.